What's going on guys, it's ETA Prime back here again. This is just a quick update video on my Game Room Solutions arcade cabinet. I made the switch from my Raspberry Pi running RetroPie to a small Lenovo i5 Windows 10 base PC and I'm running LaunchBox here. I needed more power, even Neo Geo was lagging on my Raspberry Pi 3, so I figured go ahead and upgrade a little bit. So I've moved my LEDs back so I don't get the hot spots, but my buttons here have a little problem. As you can see, some of the blue have a big hot spot. It's not due to the voltage or the LED, it's due to the button itself. Some of the caps inside are a different shade of blue, which blocks out a lot of the LED. So I need to find something to replace them with. I also made the switch from my old LCD monitor to an IPS AOC display. It fits okay, but the mounting bracket in the back isn't quite lined up. I need to go ahead and drill some holes. I'm going to show you inside of the cabinet, but first, I want to show you some GameCube gameplay. This is running on an i5 4750T CPU with only the built-in Intel HD 4600 graphics. I'm still working on my game collection. I'm trying to get all the games out of here that I can't use with joysticks or with the arcade sticks. I do have Bluetooth controllers that I can connect and play pretty much any game, but I want to just have, you know, arcade based games on here or games that can be used with just the joystick itself. Like I said, I just needed more power. This PC is a lot more powerful than the Raspberry Pi 3 and I don't get any lag in any of my Neo Geo games. Pretty much no lag in anything. One of the downsides is I cannot run PS2 well on this system. But GameCube works perfectly fine at 60 FPS. I could just mount a motherboard with a graphics card and the CPU in the back of here. And I'm actually trying to decide if I really want to do that. Because I would love to have some of the awesome PS2 fighting games on here. Dreamcast also plays at 60 FPS. I've been doing some Marvel vs. Capcom 2 using Null DC with no trouble at all. For sound, I have a 50 watt amp with two Sony 4 inch speakers, and it sounds so good. I can also connect a Bluetooth device to it and listen to music while I play, or even talk on the phone. Inside of the cab, this is the Lenovo NP93. I have my LED lights, Bluetooth amp. These cabinets use a Versa mount, but my IPS display is a little off, so I need to drill two extra holes down below in the lower holes. Two's definitely going to hold it. Have the LED strips moved back so it doesn't give me hot spots on the marquee in the front. Everything's been working so well. I really enjoy having a Windows PC in here with LaunchBox. If you're interested in LaunchBox, I actually do the official tutorials over on the LaunchBox website. I'll leave a link in the description. And if you're interested in picking one of these cabs up from Game Room Solutions, links are in the description. They do an amazing job. As you can see, I have the white Neo Geo logo because I love Neo Geo and I just thought it looked amazing. You can pick and choose your vinyls, you can pick and choose your buttons. Everything is pretty customizable from their website. The PC I'm using has an i5 4750T CPU, eight gigabytes of RAM and a 500 gigabyte hard drive. I actually got it for $100 even on Craigslist. So keep an eye out for deals like that in your local Craigslist. So that's it for this video, guys. I really appreciate you watching. If you could, hit that thumbs up button and subscribe because I got a lot more coming. And like always, thanks for watching.